In our previous video, we listed the top 3 mobile applications for calorie counting. In the description below, you can find the link to that video. In this video, we are going to introduce more details about the second place in our list, the LifeSum application. To start with, install the app, sign in, create a profile, and do the initial setup. Now that the app is ready to use, I just quickly go through the most important features and settings in the free version of the app. As you can see in the home page, you have the calorie budget on the top. You have a daily target now, which was set automatically by the app based on your inputs during the initial setup. In our case, it is 19 or 1 kilocalories left to consume for today. The eaten calories are shown on the left and burned ones on the right side. Since we haven't added any food or exercises, they are set to zero. Let's see how to change the daily calorie target. Go to the profile, then to settings, then click on my goals. Here, you need to update your goals first, and then the app automatically calculate for you what the initial calorie target should be. Note that you cannot change the calorie target manually by yourself. Let's see how to add foods. There are two ways. Click on the plus sign at the bottom right corner, choose the category. You can also do this by just scrolling down the home page or diary page. As you can see, the categories are already here. Choose one to add to your food. There are three methods to add your food here. A scan barcode, find in food database, and add manually. Let me show how to do this by some examples. Select breakfast. The barcode reader is at the top right. Click to scan. Here, I have a creamy cheese package. As you see, the product is easily found. You can add the serving amount in different units. Here, I choose the gram units and 20 grams for the amount. You can get the calories and macronutrients automatically, but unfortunately not the micronutrients. As you see, I get 45 kilocalories. Then on the home page, you can see that 45 kilocalories is subtracted from my daily budget and only 1856 kilocalories remained. Now let's try the second method. Let's add an egg for breakfast. Go to the search field on the top and write egg. Many options pop up. It's important to choose the one that has the verified sign. As you see, some of them lack verification and can't be trusted. Let's see how to add food manually. Go to the top right, then click on create food and add the details manually. You can also add calorie bird by an exercise, either manually from the database or automatically from other apps or gadgets. Scroll down on the home page and go to exercise. To manually add, go to simple calories. For adding from the database, go to exercise and find from the list and modify according to your preferences. For automatic calorie record transfer to this application, go to automatic tracking option and then try to find your app or device here. There are only a limited number of apps and devices here that can be connected to this app. There are many good features that are only available in the paid premium version. In the free version, you cannot track macronutrients over time. Currently, you can only track the calories. There is no breakdown of foods to know the vitamins and minerals and to be able to track them. In the premium version, there are more to discover. For example, different diet and plans. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if there is anything you want to add, please leave that in the comments below.